Good freaking morning. Glad to see your happy faces again. My name is Nick. Welcome to Nick's Fort. Today we are covering five tips on how to start taking better photos now. This is for everyone, whether you're using a cell phone, a pro camera, it doesn't matter. These tips apply. Before we get into it, if you are not yet subscribed, please do so below. It is free. And without further ado, let's go. All right, tip. Number one, it's called stuck in the mud and shooting 360. And no, you don't need to actually be stuck in the mud. And yes, I actually am. <laughs> but the idea is that you set a timer on your phone for about two minutes, it could be longer, and then you start taking photos and you don't move from where you are and you shoot all around you 360 degrees, taking photos for two minutes, and you're gonna find a bunch of new stuff that you didn't think you'd see, and you're gonna take photos of it. <laughs> All right, tip number two is you pick a subject and then you're gonna shoot that subject from different heights. It's gonna give you different perspectives on the same subject. You can stay in the same spot, just different heights. So you might go eye level, bang, 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 right? And then you might go way above your head and then you might just crouch down and get some shots from down here. Ga -ga, ga -ga, ga -ga. That's what you wanna do. It's gonna give you a bunch of different, hi Finn, hey buddy, what do you wanna do? Sorry, I got interrupted by Finn here, but Doing that is going to give you a bunch of new perspective on the same subject just by changing the height. All right, tip number three is to just take the photo. So many times in the past I've seen a, an opportunity for a photograph and I didn't take it. And recently, I've been taking every single one. I see an opportunity for a photo, I stop, I take it with my cell phone, I take it with my camera, I always take the photo now. So just take the photo because literally at least half the time I see something I'm like, ah, I don't think that's gonna be that cool. But then when I look at it in Lightroom after, I'm like, holy crap, that's freaking awesome. And they turn out really good. And it's just surprising. And if it doesn't turn out good, who cares? You're just shooting more. If you shoot more, you're gonna take better photos, but you gotta shoot more. On to tip four. All right, tip number four is to ask a stranger to model for you, okay? Yeah, that might be a little uncomfortable for some people, and I get it, I understand. But there are circumstances where you're somewhere and there's people around, and if you put a person in your picture, it's gonna take it from a four to a freaking eight. So do it, just ask someone. If they say no, no big deal, carry on. Maybe you'll find someone else. But you know, what's the worst that's gonna happen? They're gonna say no, and then you don't get your photo. But at least try, ask a stranger to model for you. Tip number four. Okay, tell me when you're ready, I'm gonna look down. Mind putting your hood on? Nope, and just look straight. Yeah, just look up at the bridge. Awesome, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, you already took it? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I appreciate it, thank you guys. No Have a nice evening. Oh, you too. All right, and then tip number five, the last tip is to be patient. If you spend an hour in the same spot, it's going to change how it looks, the weather, the sun might come out, it might get cloudy, it might rain, it might snow, you never know. But the whole idea is that if you stay somewhere for an hour at least, you're gonna get different photos. I could have taken a picture right here an hour ago and it would have looked way different than it does now. I, I don't know if you guys, Finn's dropping a deuce right in the middle of this take, right back there. I don't know if you saw that or if I just drew attention to that. But anyways, those are the five tips to start taking better photos today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give that little thumbs up below. I clickety clackety. And if you aren't yet subscribed, please do so below. And until next time, peace.